I want to say a special thanks to uh, everybody that helped on the Wooden Boat Forum on Facebook for your suggestions and encouragement. We got the lead out. Alright, Saturday morning, September 8th, 2018. Got a line on some lead. Rolling down I-70 in Kansas, just west of Kansas City, heading towards Junction City. Found a guy on Craigslist that's parting out an old sailboat. Says he's got 800 and some pounds, 810 pounds of lead. So, uh, got the trailer on and the chainsaw. And, uh, looks like it's going to quit raining. Should be getting to the toll booth here pretty soon. It's toll road through Lawrence, Topeka. So, uh, anyway, off on an adventure. More in a little bit. Wow, you can see a long way. So this is White City, Kansas. On the main street, and it's all brick. I'm looking for Third Street. Here we are. What did we say this was? A Columbia? Yeah, it's a 78 Columbia. 78 Columbia. 23 foot. 23 foot. We're after this lead down here underneath this thing. Tags right here. All that underneath there is where we're trying to get to. <laughs> we're getting to the keel. Now we got the front sawed off. Yeah. It's still hiding down there. The treasure's in the basement. I think we saw the back off of there next. ago we picked up this keel that we salvaged off a of old Columbia 23 and um, so there's 800 pounds of lead down inside there and the trick today is to get it off the trailer um, before when we winched it up here well you can see where I used the come along and screwed up the back of the trailer here we had Took the chainsaw and just cut a, a hole through the fiberglass here and then ran a chain through it and winched it up on here. It should be easier today to get it off because as before we were working uphill, now we're just going to pull it off of here downhill. And I'm, I'm thinking of just tie it, come along or a chain around that tree. so often you just gain an inch or two. So today, we finally got a fairly cool day, and I got a new chain for the chainsaw, and so I've been tearing into this thing, and um, I, I really didn't know how I was going to get the fiberglass encasement off of the lead, but look how much lead there is here. That's huge. And so anyway, I've taken this one out, and it's got a little tiny bit of lead in here right there, and then so I saw it off the next section, and this came out. Oh my god this came out and the the fiberglass just fell right off of it i'm so happy about that so anyway um 
you can see that I got a whole bunch more I can get out of there. But I'm having to put another tarp down because I got little bits of lead shavings going everywhere. And I want to see how heavy this is. I mean, just picking it up feels like a dog food bag. Maybe it's 50 pounds or better. Thirty-four. Okay. So that's right. Okay. So we got our first bit of lead out there, and we're going to go saw out the rest of it. More later. My word, we've hit the mother load. Look at this big chunk right here. I'm going to guess that's probably 100 pounds. And then there's one, this one back here. It's still got all the fiberglass attached to it. I think I'm just going to have to cut that in half even just to pick it up. I bet that's 200 pounds or close to it, maybe 175. And then I got this other piece of the boat off of there, the fiberglass off of there. That whole thing back there, that's all lead. See there? Um, and that's the top of it. There's no fiberglass on the top of it now. It comes all the way back just past where I made this little cut, right back to here. So you see, I stripped that fiberglass away from there. That's all lead. I'll bet there's another, I bet there's another 400 pounds at least right there. So I need 600 and something, 606 or 615, something like that for the, for the Haven. So there's probably close to 300 cut up there. And then I carried another piece over here to the scale and weighed a little bit ago. So I got these pieces now here. And that's, uh, that's a total of 198 pounds right there. I got to get a little cart or something to move this with. All right, well, we know what it looked like before. That's all that's left. I got all the lead out of here. And those two pieces. The, um, see those two hunks of, humps of fiberglass? That stuff really came off pretty good. I used a hammer and a tire iron and um, just kind of drove wedged in between it and sometimes it just popped right off sometimes I had to work out a little bit but it wasn't all that hard now I got some cleanup to do because I got this tarp down here and when that chainsaw was going through the lead man it was spitting it out into my leg and was like you could feel it man it hurt so anyway there's quite a bit of lead there I don't know how much that's gonna weigh when we clean that off of that tarp but uh there's gonna be a fair bit more there okay so anyway so we used my little cart that I made a long time ago that I was used when I was planking the haven that little cart right there and uh, that with a rope tied to it and we pulled all this over here we were working over there behind that tree and then so we had to pull it over here. It's not too far, maybe 35 or 40 feet. And now here we are. And I've got various weights. There's a 34, a 79, a 85, a 84, a 40, 68.2, a 50. That one, I can't, that was 107, that big chunk, 107. And the other one's 80.6. So if we did the math right, that's close to 608 pounds, which I think is going to be about what we need for the keel for the Haven. Um, just so we see it. It's been sitting here waiting for me to get back to work. There's the Haven. We're going to finish the bottom here and then flip it over. There's my canoe. I'm sanding that down and refinishing it. That's got to get done and get out of here. I want to say a special thanks to my friend Red down in White City, Kansas. And also a special thanks to my wife Carrie for her help with videoing and uh, just generally helping and support.